Ah, how fortuitous. You're already here. Just give me a minute. Bunker, hallo? Ah, endlich, Steiner! You wouldn't believe what just happened! I'm just sitting here in the Fugger Bunker and suddenly there are poles in front of it! We need to push them back or else the Reich will fall, you know? Yes, this is dein Befehl. This player does not have any DLCs apart from the free ones, so... Ah! Now! The Yalta Conference! Don't you dare! We're not dead yet! Close economy! That's the sound of a booming industry. Es ist Großhirnzeit. Oh no, 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 they're taking Berlin! Just look at the industry, man. And for some reason a nuclear reactor. That's not very German at all of you. Biggest issue right now is just we need to... I mean... It... Oh, Jesus, stupid... <laughs> stupid chair. The lock went off. Thanks, Frank. I just realized both of them are on my middle finger. But now we need Dino's forces. The Eagle. Oh. These guys have more soft attack than my... They don't have as much breakthrough as the medium tanks. At least they have that going for them. Strategic reasons not to ally me. Which ones? I don't know, you tell me. Gegenangriff. American Iraq war. Uh, let's not. <laughs> that one attack! That one attack cost me 100 days. Where are Yunnan and Guangxi? What did you do to them, China? Nothing. But it's gonna be great to just have a bit of my industry back. Oh, okay. Switzerland joins. But I am prepared. We're still gonna run out of fuel before they can do anything, so... Uh, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna metal me. Oh, my, my pencil! It almost fell off. Just like me! <laughs> Ah, they had mill axes, that's what happens. Oh, yeah, the fall of London and they are already hugging Hungary. <laughs> this is a horror game now. I can just see the Soviets approaching. I don't want it anymore. Stalin really just fucked himself over. That's a lot of red. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was just a joke, Stalin, you know? Uh, there, there we go. It was just a joke. <laughs> just like you. You can't cut somebody's hand off if you don't have a knife. I am the doctor and the chef, just like how it's supposed to be on a pirate crew. And sometimes I'm the captain, or the maid, and the caretaker, and the teacher. And Italian war on German Reich, attackers war goals, civil war, take Baghdad from Iraq. I love Hearts of Iron Man. He's my favorite superhero. He's just fucking racist. <laughs> Yep, the reconquest of England. Oh, we lost the tank somewhere. Okay, let's get the supply up here. Because I'm memeing again. Not as much as the UK though. Or the Soviets. Okay, maybe I'm memeing quite a bit here. Oh boy. No! In the exact same moment. Well, that's what I get. That's an interesting Mongolia border. Look how happy he is that I finally came for him. Regno del Sud is gone. I would be a little bit upset if I were... The fast wearing Italian man. <laughs> Of course the American AI wants the two oil provinces. Taking the allies out at this point is just a waiting game. The ship's right, and the musician, and the navigator, and the helmsman. I'm not getting paid enough for this. The only one, I guess China. The only one that really suffers from a no- uh, I guess Spain. The only one that really suffers from a no-focus game is the Soviet Union. Because somebody is a little bit paranoid. The League of Nations has ended, it took a long time. Breaking news! Nintendo has released a new New Super Mario Bros. game. And in response, the League of Nations has suspended. We could do a naval invasion here, honestly. But also, do I care? I don't care. Let's just do an auto push here. It's red, it's costly. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna RPS Stalin right now. But that's not what this challenge is about. This challenge is about pain. German Fleeks Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Fleeks Marine! Yagoda! That could make the borders super fun for me. And uh, you can cut out the super and the fun part. Did 
doesn't make any sense. They don't really care that much about it, so we are gonna dissolve it. We are gonna shoot a design bureau. Okay, I guess it's a bit more complicated to shoot a design bureau. This has been a year. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my tip if you're playing the Soviet Union after act against arms against tyranny A against tyranny fire all of your design bureaus it does not fucking matter one of these days I will kill Chiang Kai oh <laughs> that's why China is a different leader I killed Chiang Kai-shek, right. One of these days I'm gonna kill him without having any consequences. Plus 1000 social credit points card for killing Chiang Kai-shek. Although I'm not sure if you get it because the communist party of China has always reigned over China or something like that. I don't know what the official China law is for the CCP. If you enjoyed this video, please comment. I love it when Rito plays historical games of Hearts of Iron because I mean, just look at this. this was entirely historical. Especially this part. Wait, wait, hello. We're gonna be playing a little bit of Hearts of Iron. Today we are gonna be playing France, but uh, not the usual France that you know and potentially love. We can go to war with Germany. <laughs> this was not my plan, but let's go for a little bit, of little bit of chaos today. Yes, Germany must be dealt with now. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Why didn't Germany back down? I shot my entire army! You're a pussy! Sure, we can get some more communists in government, but uh, I have bad news for you. We shot the communists. Let's devalue the Frank. I don't know why we don't like Frank, but I'm just going to do it. He was the guy who did fuck all in our group assignment, somehow managed to delete the entire repository, and then at some point claimed that he did some work that he didn't do. This one is for you, Frank. Eight Sith Factories, that's, I mean, it's actually pretty good. Don't really care about the oh, I am more interested in getting Grand Ecole. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Would you look at that? Let me join the Italian-British war. Oh no, the Germans are attacking me. Uh, how could I have seen this for coming? Defeat! Oh wait, I didn't even know that oh, we shoot everybody in our cabinet. Oh God, I thought we kept all of this. So I legitimately just spent an hour doing nothing. I guess we can do some emergency powers to Patan. The little roach, do, do we have? I guess we keep our research at least. Ah! Why did I set up the MIOs, man? I just lost everything. <laughs> wow, we hold on to Syria. Wait, wait, how did you get here? If you ever are in a pickle, just throw a few tanks at it. I think that applies to real life as well. This is not legal advice, we just not responsible for any legal charges. Infrastructure. We are just going to build in provinces and states, preferably those with resources. Roads. Help, and then we can do a whoop -up. Isn't that that song from Cardi? Right, the UK doesn't like that we left the Navy conference thing that they said was super important, but uh, I know a little thing about history, so I don't really, I mean, I will, of course, disarm and definitely not put this into a folder somewhere and then burn that folder. Once you've burned the folder, you can go ahead and release all the puppets that you can release. That's not democratic pressure if I want to invite you to a faction so you survive. Yo, can I help Stop you? Stop pressuring me! Wait a minute, do I even need to lobby now? I don't even need to lobby at this point anymore. <laughs> Oh fuck, I don't have rubber. Rubber? I hardly know her. Every loss that I take is definitely intended here. Oh, it's, it's also nice not having to worry about stupid achievements and not being declared war on by five majors. I was declared war on by Italy and Japan, but I'm also a major. And most importantly, <laughs> it's Italy. <laughs> New general for China. Why do I lose war support? Ah, because you had war with communist China. I guess that makes sense that I would lose. 
I guess it wouldn't really make sense that I lose Warsaw Portal that. MacArthur, time for a vacation in Europa. I hope you brought your sunglasses. There we go, let's go to Kharkov and then let's also take Kursk with us. You know what? Let's do a tour de Russia. Orel and Tula. It's such a stupidly offensive one, but I don't care. <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to go for even more. You know what? You're only young once in your life. Okay, not that young. Drove into Moscow with a tank. <laughs> Get it? I am overstretching a little bit. I'll have to use you as a defensive line. <laughs> Just join this front line, please. The next one is the arrows level. Let's take that one. Got it. I could make, I could finish the encirclement here or I could not. There's not even a unit here. <laughs> I think the Germans are running out of units. Come on, we can do it. You know what? Let's just continue going. <laughs> There's nobody here! <laughs> Come on, I want to complete it. Yes! There we go! <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Let's just check. I mean, drill. Oh, fuck. You're such an asshole. Always. But he's kicking, he's, he's making sure to hit my balls and give it a little bit of extra squeeze. Anyway, um, I just want to see how many units are in here. That is 166 German divisions of 506. You can do the math on the screen, I will do it for you. I mean, my editor will do it for you. I'm giving Poland a big nice hug here. Finally, they have a good neighbor after a few years pretty much i mean the only weird thing is the non-aligned uk i don't see anything else weird on this map i guess that is odd now these are not very experienced or even supplied divisions but it probably will not matter we can also say Lear, you are stupid you're almost as stupid as frank it's hard to top him although he's probably a bottom so it's easy to top him hey yo now that you have this very consistent strat and super easy to execute you are rome you are now a furry i mean wait no no we are not rome yet we have to still take the other things Fuck. yeah potential allies in the balkans about that just a slight intervention in the spanish civil war just a minor one. Oh god the anarchists don't have anything anymore there you go let's just quickly squeeze in there with our great italian tank division great italian tank division republican victory in the spanish civil war oh would you look at that you lost all of your divisions suddenly i kind of like to live as a lion more <laughs> I'm not a furry. This was a business expense that's completely different. Infantry equipment speed? What does that mean? That's a gun. That's not how guns work. And the Germans are scared of us, it seems. Imagine being scared of an Italian. <laughs> and the Second World War. I mean, Second World War has kicked off. Look at this. They still have Gdansk and they have Warsaw. The Poles are holding quite well. I will not give up Bessarabia. This is actually complicating the front quite a bit. There's nothing complicated about this. There's enemies everywhere. Why do you have light flame tanks? It wouldn't be a final game of the year if it wasn't for crashes. Just because I wanted to look at a template. Canada, you're also on my list of very dear friends that I'm not gonna let go, no matter what you say. The strongest Italy possible. It's definitely one of my videos. Today, we are going to fuck. Again, another shipbuilding. Oh my god. I know why I don't like this path. I mean, that, that's the most fun server. No, no, you. It's good to be the US. <laughs> I just hate this game. I hate this game so much. Why did I get Gibraltar? Why did I get Hong Kong from Japan? You can tell that this is a Mandigans focus tree. I'm not saying that new focus trees make sense. I'm not saying that at all. Especially if we look down here with demand Italian Alps. I don't think Italy would give you the Alps if you were at war with them. I think it's D-Day time. Is it not? Paraguay, Venezuela, Uruguay. Ecuador, yes. We only got Ecuador this time, but hey, still. Wait, what? That focus tree is busted. The American focus tree is busted. I just invited all of South America into my faction. I know I'm memeing a little bit here. Okay, if you look at the front line, I'm memeing a lot. Yeah, let's let's take Taiwan. Well, prepare the invasion for Taiwan. You know what? Let's just... Yeah, let's let's take Taiwan. Now! Well...
There we go. Now, they do have a decent grip on the Balkans. It's just Hugo and... Why is Japan here? Donovan, they want Greenland back. You know what would be funny if... Uh... Oh, look, a JoJo reference. Ah. Uh... Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot. I'm gonna get a concussion after this. <laughs> this is like my ninth streak. Yakshamaj, everybody. It's, I haven't been recording for like two weeks <coughs> because I've been sick the entire fucking time and not the usual kind of sick. The I'm actually ill kind of sick, which is also why we're going to most beautiful country in the world. As you know, Ljubljana looking very like Paris, green leaves, etc. We are going to go to the Kosovo. Not that I know where that is or that I was there in the 90s. Um, I have to leave. I have to pin everywhere and we have to snipe. Let's go, boys! Let's go! <laughs> and the Regency retires our current country leader. Which doesn't really make sense if you're communist. Oh well, but we're still communist. Prince Paul sends his regards. <sighs> Alright then, I guess I'm the communist now. How is Poland still alive? That sentence just runs in the family, I guess. Turkey, I own two provinces. What do you want me to invest? No. No, 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 no. I didn't call them in. Oh no, my game crashed. No! <laughs> oh, you're sick for two weeks and you can't even play with a mouse anymore. The Serbian East in... I just threw up in my mouth. Just that name. The Serbian East Indies. I also don't really have a defense against naval invasions. So I'm just gonna have to pray that the AI doesn't invade me. Or I create garrison divisions. Uh, I'll just pray. Jesus! I'm so used to my cameras over there. I'm gonna put it back there after this run. <laughs> I get. I just did it again. I'm not- I'm not doing this on purpose, you know? But yes, I guess we will just have to accept any naval invasion that pops up. Twins! And both daughters, that's great. Very good. Yay. Polish scholars have long devoted themselves to the study of... Blah, 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 blah. I have learned much from the works of Al Savrali and Ibn Zina. I don't think those are Polish names. What's wrong with you? That's just a Polish Muslim. The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. There's no place I'd rather be. I can't wait to go home. <laughs> Mood! You really couldn't have chosen a better font. That's a fucking real card. Okay, yeah, I wasn't interested anyway. Da -da -da -da! That's all part of Italy! I'm a moron. It's a stupid one-legged poet. <laughs> Jesus, what are those stats? <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. I suppose somebody like that would have been objectified. Uh, I mean, that's not a friend, but I'ma take it. 100% chance to Romans the Kaiser. Yeah, let's just go with the gut. With 100% chance, what's gonna happen? The soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. Did I pay him off? Wait, I had one. I had one hundred percent chance. The game lied to me. I thought I could just pick whatever. <laughs> XCOM trauma renewed. Homosexual. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm homosexual. That's not my kid. Oh no, that's fem girl. Okay. Drenched in excrement. Oh, gains overflowing diaper for two years. <laughs> Oh god, her diaper hasn't been changed for two years. But I mean, six court grandeur. And she's the sixth child anyway, so... Oops, I accidentally kicked. Something's changed. I missed something with France. Oh god, the archery is just gonna be huge. France, good ending. <laughs> My injured son, Thomas II IV. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it up to the physician. He knows. Wait, my... <laughs> I just told my physician he should decide, and then my physician was like, yeah, okay, you decide. You're the professional. As always, when you play Crusader Kings, you get blessed with Skittles. Sweden is actually pretty strong. Denmark is a junior partner of Sweden, which I'm sure makes some of you very happy. We do have Femboyes in pretty much 
everywhere. Let me just quickly validate this. Okay, so we have one centimeter here and that's everything. Yep, sounds good to me. Oh, you're from Swabia. Ich nix Persönliches. Did somebody say care of it? This is it. for being an OPM is being a little bit of a prick here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of a bit, little bit, bleh. a lot of bit. You could even say a bite. Get it, it's a program of <laughs> shit. Super Luigi Galaxy. Bottom test. <laughs> Peak comedy! This game is taking so long, I've actually grown bald. We are getting to the final 100 years. <sighs> Which means in two sessions I'm free. And then I only have to edit all of this. You converted to fanboyism? That sucks, I can't declare war on you. That was a smart decision. If I take them out, I'll lose Defender of the Faith level 3. Tuva! That's Tuva! Tanu, what? Nah, fuck, that doesn't- What's that other, uh, restaurant from the US? Not Hooters, um, right. Walmart. Guten Tag, everybody. Today we are spielen a little bit of Victoria 2, one of my favorite games of all time. It is very good, and uh, we are going to continue with the mega campaign. Wait a minute. Uh, the other great powers. Why did you create Gypsy Land? Am I gonna get monetized now? Wait, where, where's Italy? You're a secondary power as well. Free colonies. Free Arabian colonies are now seducy. I hate my mind. I hate my mind. No, go away. Three colonies of the Arabians are now major powers. Wait, Japan? War of Japanese submission. They're just sending every Mexican division in here. You could say they're not sending their best. Why? Why did you annex Albania? <laughs> Femboy in South America. I guess it's time for some RSI. Then again, I did choose this myself. I did give myself this course. I mean, HPM gave me those calls. Just download HPM, I can guarantee you it's... You will see all of this. Oh, uh, I think. Uh, come on. I guess we're gonna be on our own Arabian hearts Arabian reactionaries. Home, huh? Please don't crash. No, I need to do all of this again. The ethnic union of Vedluga. Are you sure? I'll put that one in the lost and found file, okay? Pensions. I don't think pensions were good. Uh-oh. I should have gone for pensions. <laughs> that was almost a live stream fails moment. I almost chucked him. I put him down. And no, I didn't put... I placed him on the ground. I really took way too long to come up with that. Come on, Arabian reactionary. <laughs> My baby, it just hurts. You would still like to peace out. Well, yeah, we could, but uh, what about Saufunan? What's in for me anyway? You would still like to peace out. Well, but what about... Ah, oh, fuck, it's... I did think it was Hunan, but then I was like, yeah, okay, there's also Western on, so... Uh, why does advertising give me education efficiency? I guess because people learn to read in order to be affected by advertisements? It's gonna be fun now. Don't miscount. I would never. This was not intentional. <laughs> I mean, I didn't miscount, I just... Symbols are hard. Like, when you have to put the shape in the shape that doesn't fit. It's so crazy that they make something like that for children. Fuck this. Macedonian nationalists have enforced the demands in Arabia. The Crucible Rep... I legitimately can't believe this. I did not want Byzantium again in this game. I should have just sphered. Oh right, I can't sphere Arabia because you have 20 million men. They're just playing musical chairs in Arabia. My favorite. Oh Jesus, Cuban nationalists again. Sure. Avad. Yes. Uh, of course. The true enemy of Erfurt. Avad. Let me just Wikipedia this. Surely there's something there. 140 divisions here. And 
You're just watching. We will just chalk this up. There we go. We have lost the Great War. We could have drawn this out, but our allies are incompetent. We can no longer rely on them and instead must look to other alliances. Like for example, Femba Hutus. Also tip, do not research market determined exchange rates. You get more admin efficiency, which by this point you honestly don't need anymore. But also uh, if you do research this, hyperinflation, not good. What do you mean? This is a great, I'm a billionaire now. Just a shame that a slice of bread costs a billion mark. And I can't even afford it anymore. I don't think I've ever seen an Africa like this in a big two game at the end of it. Just a bunch of weird stuff like Australia. Can you just imagine that? Australia. I should show you two things. Number one, the map that the converter generated. That's it. It cracked. And number two, the map that I had to generate. This is it. We do have two factions that I generated. Beacon of Democracy, led by Japan, Puyi, the Boy King, and also containing Franz Ferdinand. Nothing bad is ever gonna happen to this guy. And of course, the Grand Femboy Empire, the full Kemet, led by Oho Kekunen, the dictator. Honestly, like, uh, this could be the next Kaiserreich, you know? This could be Femboy Reich. Italy is as competent as ever. There we go, we have liberated Hong Kong. Is that also something that we're still upset about or did we just accept it? Germany is at war again. I don't know why it says Germany. This is definitely not Germany. This is the Socialist Republic of Erfurt, as you can see, led by Arnold Hitler, the dictator. Maybe there's something I can do to eliminate the problems up here. We cannot afford to lose the Femboy Empire. Then this is gonna turn into a proper N6 scenario where I don't know how I'm supposed to make this work. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a shame if that were to happen? But ah, Jesus! Ah, fuck! I actually hurt myself. Ah, ah, ah. Stupid door. Oh, I did waste power points. Power points? I've used it in school once. They called it coding class. Now that I am a developer, I have not used PowerPoint once. I don't think this was coding class. Then again, I am in Germany. So, plugging a computer back in and back out, that is considered IT support. No, I'm in every war that you're in. <laughs> you're in. <laughs> Die. <laughs> that's, 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 you're in. Get it. The real Germans are here. And they're running. I mean. Driving? We have to break this egg to make an egg omelette. I will at some point strangle the guy that invented the Hoi for naval invasion sound. For the purposes of YouTube, this was a joke. This was not a threat, this was a joke. Look at that number go higher. Hoo oh. hoo han! I'm doing fine guys, I'm doing very fine, okay? I hope you're doing fine on this fine Sunday, I mean, uh, insert weekday afternoon. Uh, at this fine insert weekday, insert local time. One day I will find one of the Paradox employees and just knock at their door and then I will leave. Just in case the Chinese government is listening, invading Europe through Russia is not a very smart idea. You have to build way too many supply hubs and they took, take way too long. So uh, try another way, please. I mean... <laughs> 113 million dead. America is stuck on all adult surf because they don't have stability and they don't have war support. So they cannot go higher. Hey, Melly. Realized that I was recording, huh? Want some attention again? Ah, just zoomies. 12.75 million deployed and oh, 1.2k deployed divisions. We do have 25,000 planes deployed. I have already prepared the naval invasion. 80 million casualties. I think my career profile is gonna be very skewed now. Just because of all of this. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I broke the record in the next game that I played? 
we shall not trade with the Swedes anymore. All they do is give me some weird licorice anyway. Like for example this one. This one is milk chocolate and within it is licorice. Or this one is just a brick of licorice. Or I've also seen licorice crisps. The strongest one we can build. A single horse. Yeehaw! A whole horse, if you so will. Yo, what's in it, Jojo Graf? Well, welcome to Stalingrad. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Right, who do we have to offer? Paulus. Ah, yes, I have heard of you. As I said, I don't know a lot about Stalingrad. It's in Russia. Two million people died there. Oh, and Soviet propaganda! There we go! We have already won Stalingrad. We are doing much better than Hitler did, maybe. How would I know? I wasn't there. Oh my god, that's a front line. Emphasis on the line part. I think the best part about this mod is I won't have to hear the naval invasion sound at all. Downside is I will have to find out where all of these straits are. <laughs> oh, let's just recover from winter. It's that simple. Ooh, spooky Halloween episode. Ooh, I'm a floating head. And today I hacked my game and we are going to play a country that does not exist because it's a spooky Halloween episode. Look at my game glitching out. Ooh. Okay, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> oh no, I got a body for a second. I really have to keep this bullshit up for the next three hours. Do we have some interesting- Oh god, we have way too many guys. We are going to hire Knutbach, the Landsbruchsminister. Bon depart yet. It's as if you're not even speaking a language, man. Why can't you be normal? Like your neighbors, like Germany. A triangle? <laughs> your truck is called a triangle. <laughs> I can't take the thing seriously. Somebody anschlussed. It wasn't me. <laughs> I should probably also do naval invasion support. Look at the naval invasion, it was so worth it. I wouldn't have conquered Sweden if it not were not for the naval invasion. If it not were for the naval <laughs> Humor is dead. Ah, the, the craziest part about this is, is if I didn't check here, we could have just been capitulated and I wouldn't have noticed. I guess that would be a Danish roleplay, huh? That was a six hour war reference for those among you who didn't get it. What the fuck? I sure hope you give it back to me at some point. Or else I'm gonna knock you down stairs. And then you're never gonna be able to walk. Get oh wait. Was that uncalled for? I don't think so, he stole Greenland from me. I want to protect them. Ew, ew. <laughs> and let's also just pressure Germany with my grandmother. Ah, oh, you are such a bad boy. Paradox doesn't know how to write Copenhagen. That's not how you write Copenhagen. <laughs> Silly Swedes. And the German volunteers are going away now, but that's fine. You have secured yourself. Certainly a valuable ally that's not gonna backstab you. Idiot. Oh wait, we still need those blades. Can't forget about those. <laughs> those <are> blades. <laughs> Get it? Those blades. These nuts. Justifying on me now, right? That's fine. We have a non-aggression pact. You wouldn't break that one, do? Would you? You're so nice with your kind little mustache. The Soviets and the Germans are working together to encircle my divisions. Oh, I've seen that one before. This is literally Poland. The Soviets are attacking from the right and the Germans from the left. I don't want to play anymore. If necessary, alone. Oh, fuck you, America! The new world is gonna come to the liberation of the old. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna push you off some stairs. Our world, our England, is a place that has seen its share of darkness. George Orwell, a renowned historian of our time, documented the past in his work in 1984. But let us remember, it is not a work of fiction, it is... No, that's wrong! ...historical account. 
In this timeline, I did pretty much the exact same thing as before, just that I haven't played until 1961. Italy is gonna be fun as well to grind down, but at least it's Italy, you know. I'm gonna look at Mussolini weirdly and he's gonna capitulate. The Regio Ari Arinautica? Regio Arin... Aero... Regio Ari... Regio... The Italian Air Force is no match. And Italy is gone, Croatia exists again. Very weird borders for Croatia now that I think about it, but uh, Croatia, Bosnia, they're all the same. I guess I was wrong. Let's just get Melexus from Guangxi. Minus 10, minus 20, minus 40. Factors multiplied together, 43? I might not be good at maths, but come on. Right, we're pushing into China and I'm starting to push into Iran as well. Oh my god, my front line is gone. Wah, wah. The Holy Trinity! China joined the Axis, Communist Japan has appeared and it's 1960. 271 states. We have gotten the gain Dane law. I shall kick the Soviets. We shall justify on the Soviets because they took um, Albania. And I'm also just gonna use the fact that we have 5 billion borders and completely ignore all of the borders. Another border added to my border pile. Yeah, let's be sensible here. If I don't do it, I know what's gonna happen. Iran, Ching China. Right, US. About that Greenland thing that we have. Would you mind um, giving it back? Again? That's the second Japanese civil war. Yeah, and you can see that because we don't have the bald guy anymore. So let's, let's go. I'll stop with the communist threat receding event. I get it. I'm not China. Ah, I forgot about Albania. Blah. Well, thanks Greece. I guess you're part of the war now and all of my allies as well. I know I'm not allowed to proclaim Nordic unity because you have Greenland and you've not given it back. <laughs> This is so fucking stupid! The fact that the US is just a, 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 The fact that... Do you know what? Shut up. Shut up. You just... I don't give a damn about you anymore. I don't want you to exist without my permission. I didn't want to have you. I just wanted to annex Italy, but no, I got the Italian puppet because Paradox says so, and I also don't want you to get Greenland. And why is it a third Japanese civil war? I don't think the communist threat is receding at this point. I think I've played Hearts of Iron for too long. Why do you own? Okay. Did you naval invade here? I sure wouldn't mind coring Finland and the Baltics right now. Japan, I think you have a communist problem. This video was not performed by professionals. Please do not try this at home. Servus everybody. I did play yesterday. I tried recording a little bit. Played as Iceland. Did not go well. I feel like going for all of the Finnish achievements at once is just adding an unnecessary complication to all of this. Oh, you don't even know. You couldn't understand any of this. The Soviets have developed new technology. Shadow divisions. <laughs> That's why they've had enough. They're out of manpower. Sure, they're only on volunteer only, but come on. I need somebody storming up my ass, man. If it's Uncle Sam, then so be it. <laughs> ah, defending without manpower, without industry, against the Germans and the Soviets at the same time. It's a bit tricky. I feel like Germany should have much less land than this. But hey, at least we contested Finland on Angola after they were declared war on by Germany and the Soviets. What? <laughs> See this? Don't you feel stupid now, huh? Peaceful reunification of Spain. Are you sure? Kick Sweden from the faction and justify on them for no button. France is guaranteeing them. I don't want to fight the allies. I should have just read the title of the video. I have to fight the allies regardless. God damn it! The Finnish onion has been born. We can integrate Bulgaria, sure. There's no real point to it though, because uh, 
Bulgaria killed itself. Republic of China Shantaya! You don't want me to have fun, do you? Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the bottom of the sea. I can tell you that much. Winston Churchill was right. The best boat is a naval bomber. At this point, I can't even really fault the Allies for doing this. Sure, they lost 90 million men against my 7 million, but <laughs> at some point, I will reach zero. And they are still working on the Isonzo front. At least, the Isonzo front of this timeline. <laughs> I feel like every single time I see the Balkan tank, it's just it just gets worse and worse. I hope they never fix that. <laughs> China's fallen after 28 million men. Ah, hard ready yet. We are back in the game. But now I can just start suckling on the sweet teat of China. I might have gone overboard. I cast Counterspell. Sweden, I'm sorry, but you are led by SRP. I never really liked that program anyway. Look at Hungary! <laughs> <laughs> hey no way, I have a joke for you. Your existence! <laughs> Why? I just gave you autonomy by giving you sin? Oh man. Okay, Spain is capped, which means the only European nation that's left is Portugal, but we're not out of the war, which means we're gonna have to invade Australia. Potentially more. Let's take a look. Who is still up for resistance? It is lucky number Australia. Finally, I have prepared something here. My navy does not have enough range to drop in Australia. All right, let's do some island hopping then. It's 1970. The game is actually starting to lag now for me. I guess money really can't buy everything, huh? France, 0% stability, 0% war support. Zero convoys, zero percent supply fulfillment. Doesn't that just tickle the German in me? I just deleted a bunch of stuff. Might have been the units, could also have been the stockpiles that were just lagging my game. I guess money really can buy everything, huh? Just a little bit of revenge. Also, Retribution for your stupid mustache. <laughs> they immediately run out of manpower. Then again, I also just dropped 30 nukes on them. Oh, that was easy. Why didn't I do this the first time? I might have deleted too many guns. Just to combat the lag a bit. Because the game that can't really catch up right now. Let's declare another war. Maybe that's gonna fix our stockpile deficit. It did not. I somehow created a black hole, man. I don't know where all of those guns are going. That's what you get for being a stupid sexy line, Chili. Uh, I guess I do have market access with Afghanistan, considering I own it. Let's just see what your population has to say to this tactic of diplomacy. They can vote whether they like it or not. It does look to me like they want a second- Ah, yes, they wanted a second demonstration. Easy as cake. We have done 1,000 million damage, 174 million for 15.6 million, 2 million land combat damage, 91,000 damage occupation, uh, yes, damage occupation. Welcome to my March of the Eagles podcast, everybody. Today in March of the Eagles, we are going to be playing Hearts of Iron, because please don't ever make me play March of the Eagles. Please. I actually wanted to try this game yesterday, three days ago. At some point. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you have got to actually be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I didn't even get to say the first sentence. When in Rome, thank Caligula. We are going to go for a very special kind of war. You could call it... Give me a minute. Let's cut. Full minute. There we go. You could call it a full mini. Eventus right down to madness. I wish France has been formed. Okay, uh, seriously, fuck this game, man. I'm honestly sometimes surprised the game runs at all. Okay, we we can do two things here. I'm first gonna try the non-cheaty way. There we go. I'm not gonna click the Vichy province. 
this isn't even a crazy scenario that I'm doing right now, you know? Like, I'm not, I know I'm trying to break the game, but I'm not breaking the game in this instance. I just kept the UK and now we're taking on France. Nothing of this is special. This is what I had to resort to. Cheating. Cheating in a non-Iron Man game. I know I am the worst of humans. I literally shouldn't even be allowed to breathe right now. I should just dox myself. Should just drive through Alabama and say gay rights are good rights. But this is what I have resorted to. My apology video is coming out next month. Stay tuned for that. So for the price of one CPU, you can potentially call all of Africa. That's a lot of green. And then of course the secret line, but could be worse. That could be German or worse. Oh, I can build more in Africa. I should actually build roads in Africa. Make up for this whole colonial looking thing, you know? Oh, this feels like I'm playing Victoria 3 again. <laughs> Victoria 2? What the fuck? Just summon a demon. Why do I get Tibet? I'm not at war with Tibet. And now Japan joined China. Why would China invite Japan? It never ends, 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 it never ends. I just... It... How... Go home, Japan. Go home, I have a surprise for you. 127 to be more precise. What? What? <laughs> How did that... Paradox... It cost me 112, you can see. Currently in the council, minus 25% because of strong council control. It cost me 150. I don't want to keep yelling at clouds, man. <sighs> paradox, 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 paradox. <sighs> Let, let's restart, come on. It's been like 10 minutes. I do not like the Swiss focus tree. The great thing is the career profile will be like, oh, you must really like Switzerland. You've played it 20 times already. No, I made two Switzerland runs. Help, please. Is there anybody there? I've been talking to myself for nine months now. Is there nobody here? Uh, we also have the allies helping out on this one port in Nice, Le Nice, as they say in France. Every own state gets another two land forts. Guess that's one way to complete the Siegfried line. Just everything is part of the Siegfried line now. Jesus, Manny. He's such a nice cat. I love him. He's such a good boy. Uh, Melin didn't stop the recording, but he fucking muted myself. Aren't pets fun? Yes, you. You're the bastard. You record a fun game of Hearts of Iron, and then after a while you just realize, hmm, the fifth time that he jumped on the table, he somehow muted me on OBS, and now I can just toss that recording as well. Just a normal game of Hearts of Iron, we want to go over with the parks of Meninism and Lenin. You know, if I get a mod that just replaces his profile with Trotsky, then I think the majority of you won't even notice. I mean, not that I think my viewers are stupid. I wouldn't notice. There we go. That makes it better, right? Can you stop sneezing? I'm trying to record here. Boom. Ah, oh, fuck me. I didn't want to do it like that. Yes, that's certainly gonna intimidate Hitler if I shoot my entire armed forces. Whatever. I'm just gonna consider this an additional challenge. Germany, is that it? Is that everything you had? Ah, there we go. A little bit. They still have a little bit of juice left. That's probably something bad to say during... Nope. I'll take that back. I meant juice, not juice. You know what? Let's just get it out of the video, right? Here I was wondering why this battle was going so easy against the Soviets, uh, against the Germans, why we killed 7.5 million with only losing 700k. They have new recruits. They have new special divisions. Special forces, indeed. Slovakia, Albania, Montenegro. How? I just don't get it, man. Tokuda and Adenauer, they, these two are my sleep paralysis demons. Not again. Ooh. Soviet opposition requests support. <gasps> Soviet opposition! 50 rifles? <laughs> I guess 200. What are you gonna do with 200 rifles? I'm sorry. <laughs> I gave you 200. What? <laughs> 
ISP, what is this? That's your base and that's what you recruited? I gave you 200 guns. I want my 200 guns back, honestly. That was such a misclick. Oh my god. <laughs> there's, there's taking Spain again. I literally can't even. I promise I'm gonna use garrison divisions in every game from now on, even as a minor. Please just forgive me. Another stack. Move out. Oh. Right now, Poland, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Japan, Italy. And then, like, we were pretty much done with the war. 20 million Germans. 20 million Germans. This is 3 million from my side. 54 million of the central powers. I will legitimately have to start making garrison divisions. They broke through again. Have I ever mentioned that I hate impassable terrain in the Alps? Hearts of has broken me. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna start making garrison divisions. Another invasion? Where is it? There's another one here. Damn it, man. It's just a constant cycle of taking, losing and retaking. I think it's also time to bust out the bad boys. What are you gonna do when they come for you? It just doesn't stop, man. Boom. Deployed 100 divisions. It sucks, but it has to be done. Every single tile that exists in this game is gonna be turned into a garrison. I want to hear the naval invasion sound a single time once I'm done with this game. I'm actually starting to tilt a little bit. Apparently, the population of Germany at the start of World War II was about 70 million. That means, since women are not allowed to fight in Hearts of Iron, because, uh, yeah, it's a man's job. Fuck, they are pushing everywhere. That means... There's only children and women left in Germany. And they still have 300 divisions. I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to do here. It's just there's way too many enemy troops for what we have. We're gonna win every single battle. But 60 million enemies. I don't think we can win the war. Why do I have suppressed mafia decisions? Honestly, this feels like fucking end seek. Okay, the tanks. I'm gonna let them do a small push here. Yep, we finally ran out of infantry equipment and support equipment. We can't fix that though. You lot, just slowly retreat. Honestly, just slowly retreat. I still don't know why there's so many of the garrison divisions here, man. Yeah, that's what I was... that's what I expected. We don't have the production anymore for our air force. Oh, everything was just got decimated. Ah, you're doing it again. We killed 61 million enemy division... enemies. And there's no end in sight. It's like 29 degrees in here. We still have... Just, the big problem is just we can't piece anybody out. It's 1949. I would love to continue playing this. For as painful as it is, it's also just fun too. Because it's like every single encirclement just feels like it brings me closer, but it doesn't. How do you even have manpower? Four million men? Just look at this, there's still like 20 divisions here and then here everywhere. There's just one or two divisions per tile. Honestly, this is probably inspiration for Orwell's 1984. We don't even know why we're at war anymore and who we are at war with anymore. We're just at war. If I used garrison divisions offensively here, then this probably wouldn't have happened. But as it stands... 65 million, it's 1950. We did take out 34,000 enemy planes. Mom? Oh fuck, that's the wrong reference, right? We do want the... That was pathetic. The sea wolf. Leider? Ah, Leader. <laughs> because Leider in German is sadly it happened. The sadly part of sadly it happened. That is how you could translate Leider in German, not Netherlanderish. Leifenavle! I just can't take Dutch people seriously as a German, I'm sorry. No, I don't care about Infrastrukturschild sauce. I take full credit for that. I take full credit for capping Turkey here. Am I really doing anything right now? No. Is it fun? Yes. Should I see a doctor? Let's not talk about it, please. Congratulations. Easy. 
Ethiopian M. Bulgaria? That's a nice looking Bulgaria. I don't know if Mussolini agrees with that, but hey, good on you, kid. Submarines are incredibly weak against planes because the submarine at some point will have to surface and the plane can just go. <laughs> no China policy, huh? Wait, no. Ah, okay. Red Ch Japan. I looked over in 1942. You pushed into here, into, into here, and the Allies were not a problem for you. How did you fuck that up? I do want to go to the Netherlands at some point. It's just so far away. Just so I can talk to a Dutch person. Want to see what they're like? Since we will be flipping democratic, most likely, unless I get a change of heart and stop playing this game, we will have to. Oh fuck! Fucking fuck! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck! Bold! 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 We don't like Mussolini enough, so now we can put him into gay baby jail. Why is it always communism with you guys? It's like the only alt history choice that Japan has, man. Communism to do nothing. I've made an entire video about this, how the... It, you just shoot yourself in the foot, you lose everything. The Phililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
That's not Germany levels. The rest, I think I'm just gonna bank PP now for the inevitable... Oh god, it's 1939 August. I think shooting the army was a bit of a... I wanna call it a mistake, but probably not the smartest thing I've done. We have minus 60% factory output right now. Thank fuck we have this burst industry. Attack! You're defending, you knob. Italy, you are completely intentionally feeding. What? In God's name. Huh? How did you get here? El Generico really just fled South America and was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna overtake the Netherlands now. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, fuck's sake. My neighbor has been drilling holes into his wall for the past six days. I don't get it. The thing that's confusing me is at some point you don't have a wall anymore. I really want a new apartment, man. Let's just build a naval base level Four. Why did I say level four? Not a single number in a hot Safran four uses four. Apart from the title. Playing a communist nation is just nice. You just get to do stuff. Limited to limited conscription. We can just go to war economy. Everything is great. Except for the starving civilians, you know. But now we need to play a very special game. A game of, oh god, the Soviets are knocking. Oh no, we no longer get the effects of communist influence. The nightmare is over. But hey, building out the railway network is always beneficial for the people. And that's what communism is about, you know. Actually, it's about starving your own people to death, I guess. History has taught us anything. I mean, I've read the books, but this guy is a professional. I can't argue with that. I'm just an armchair professional. Sometimes I can't even believe what you're spending money on. For example, the Gollum game. Sponsor of this. Please not. No. For not even if you put a gun against my head. If you told me I had to sponsor this game and put a gun against my head, I would just pull a little trigger myself. Oh wow, something incredible just happened. Bismarck himself subscribed. That's... <laughs> I made it in the world. Je Jesus fuck. Have you heard about knocking? Anyway, I guess it's time to start playing some Hot Savine 4 if you're already here. Regarding knocking, this does remind me of my grandmother. God bless her soul. She's still alive, but whenever she would come to my room, she would be kind enough to knock, but she would knock at the same time she would open the door. Like, you couldn't even process that someone knocked, because she would just knock and immediately clamp down and open the door. I sure hope I started recording. Yes, I did. Perfect. I love myself. <laughs> Best joke I told all year. We have been playing a lot in the Balkans lately. This way, the like, the, the, so the, now, now. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> I guess I have a streamer light now. <laughs> That's how this works, right? <laughs> anyway, we've been playing a lot in the Balkans, so we're just gonna stay in the Balkans and play my favorite Balkan nation. Uh, where is it? There's my favorite Balkan nation. Actually, Romania is fun. Oh, I want to say this is big. I mean, it's just Bosnia. It's not gonna cause problems. <laughs> I remember this event, but I still just love it. Hungary asks us, their overlord, if they get the right to rearm, but they also ask Czechoslovakia, which doesn't exist anymore, and Yugoslavia, which doesn't exist anymore. Okay, they are actually going in. Ah! I shall reload. I don't want to bother with Crimea. It's just such a hassle to attack and defend. Just like real life. Please, stop. UK, UK. It's Tanatuva for fuck's sake. Why are you defending it so... You really... Fine. Take Tanatuva. I hope you're goddamn happy. I just... You wanted to take Tuva over anything, but you still have the Germans alive. God, those are my worst borders. Those are the worst borders I've ever done. Okay, that's a lie. Work complete. You're still here! 
How did you even get in here? In the we shall play Turkey. My least favorite nation out of the three Bosporus nations. But I do have a different plan today. And that starts with the Montreux Convention. Which you might say, well, that's normal. And yes. We can either go for the communists or the gamers. The gamers are more beneficial for us because then we can deny certain genocides that we may or may not have committed. We shall go for the gamers. I don't remember what Assess Our Future this was. Like a I always forget card. about it. It's 1939. We own the UK and Portugal, parts of France, parts of the Commonwealth. S. Turkey. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I hate this game. This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I recently tried to record and the entire footage sounded like this. Thankfully the heatwave is over. Ah! If you are stronger at the early game, you can scale better into the late game by being stronger against everyone else. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just basic maths. Sorry, 80, 20, 20. I didn't mean to be an idiot. I was just born this way. Cop. That's gonna be very useful right now. And then, well, the longer it is, the longer it better. The United Nations don't want you to notice, but the Netherlands are legitimately free real estate. God, the British, they are fighting with tooth and nail. And it's British chief, so it's pretty much disgusting. <laughs> Get it? <Yeah>. Bad hygiene. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine passing Brexit. That way I can also get Romania. Oh, Arti Specialist! Yes, Heinrichi, I love you. That's a joke, right? That's... no. It can't be, we have June. It can't be a joke. London has fallen, that should mean the UK is out of this war soonish. Maybe Portsmouth. Yeah, Portsmouth and then they're gone. There we go. Czechoslovakia joined the allies. Uh, you guys immediately rush over to this front. Now we can just station Heinrichi in the UK so they can't be uncapitulated. Justify on Lithuania, honestly. This way we get Poland into the war. Why do we get a naval invasion for this? Is it? No, Italy is not yet in the war. There we go. That's just something that I did not want to see. <sighs> Why did they invade me so quickly, man? Wait, what? What? What just? Uh, change of plans. Hitler wanted us to chill a little bit, but I think it's time we go. I love how they just border go my land by giving occupation to some some random people. Okay, let's get into Belgium. No, Lithuania. Man, the AI. The new Hoi 4 DLC. Man, the AI. Hungry. You just asked me for Slovakia. Then you asked me again, but you changed the question. Like that's something that children do. Or conservatives trying to get chat control passed. What's the difference? And then Greece has like three different decisions, but you also have your factions and Bulgaria has these factions. So you need to check which factions you ally when and then you can do this and ah, uh, it's just so confusing to me. <laughs> I want to click a button and then annex Czechoslovakia. You know, I don't want to, I want to read. That's not why I play Hearts of Iron 4. That's what I play Steins Gate and Danganronpa for. Yo, you go flipped, which means we have everybody except for the Balkan problem child. Can you stop forcing my agents into hiding? Just want to overthrow your government. That's not that bad. I mean, the US has done it several times and they had a good guys 50 billion restarts later this happened i'm gonna fucking come man that is not what i oh man fine i just wanted the guns from italy usually i would reload but i don't like this focus free i don't like the battle for bosphorus dlc and i don't like myself that i was like yeah okay let's try this let's try this let's, let's, let's try to Democratic path. Maybe it's gonna be fun. Wait, I can call Romania in. What part of Romania? <laughs> I own all of Romania myself. I don't think Steinoskov is gonna help you. It's a Dutch. What are they gonna do? They couldn't even defend if they tried. The way I said that, I think I just invoked the spirit of my grandfather. Sometimes I do wonder where it all went wrong. Mm, for this case, I'm also gonna send the Ronald troops. I 
It's just fucked the pronunciation both ways. I went neither English nor German there. Get the horse cavalry. Oh, for free. Oh, don't tell me. Why do you like horses so much? Wait, wait. Is Stalin canonically a crazy horse girl? Oh boy. <laughs> I don't wanna. Please, we can talk about this. We can talk about this, Hitler. Put away your airpods, we can talk about this. All oh, right, I also could have gotten total mope the entire fucking time. That's cool. That's definitely, oh my God. Yeah, you know, I, I was sick an entire week. I wanted to edit videos or just record something and I couldn't. So I just forgot every single thing about Hot Swine that I learned, which isn't a whole lot, you know, like when you play Hot Swine, it's more like you unlearn certain things you have, brain cells. But hey, it's a lot of green arrows, so it's all worth it. Ooh, adaptable. Ooh, adaptable. Ooh, adaptable. You know what? I think I'm gonna make a snack myself. Change of plans. I don't have any snacks that I can make. I'm just gonna eat fucking carrots, man. Should have bought food instead of instead of playing Hoi 4. But the content must flow. 27 million Germans. 3 million will survive the Second World War. The rest will be dead. Oh cool, a place that does not exist. It's only a place in the mind. Hello Spain, welcome to the Second World War. I hope you had a nice nap. Netherlands are gone. It, uh, yeah, the Netherlands. I was like, Niederlande? Niederlande, why is... The Netherlands are not Norway. I know that. I know my geography. I am not American. <laughs> I get it. American stum. Ah, <laughs> oh, my favorite joke there. Ah! Today I am all about making you uncomfortable, which is why we're starting on this screen. And I am going to show you the strongest way to play America. This on nation as the US? That sounds like some cursed nightmare. Imagine not being able to go to Walmart and buying an AR. What kind of communism is this? When it comes to Mexicans, you can technically get the puppet war goal but i'm just gonna say yeah no i don't care because honestly i don't care yeah let's just make nukes i guess i don't have anything better to do with my research slot right now state of japan state of japan is pretty bad is that morse code can somebody please decipher what they are trying to tell me uh germany I think I am the anti commenton pact. There's nobody else here. Fine, I'll join it. What are the Soviets gonna do? Declare war on me? What is this? Make oh, makeshift bridges. What do you use makeshift bridges for? I mean, I know what... Ah, uh, Servus? I really don't know why I'm doing this. I've been saying that a lot, haven't I? Really do not know. Since we are playing something so handicapped, there's obviously only one nation that makes sense to be played, and that is... Oh, I'll make yeah. you eat those words. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine, you're just playing Spain. An oxymoron is a figure of speech that juxtaposes... Fuck, fuck, that's fuck. There we go. No, it's... Okay, time to do it all again. If anything goes wrong in this game, I know it's because the game crashed and now the historical focuses are scrambled. Foreshadowing is a narrative device in which a story- Oh, I can do this. I'm learning new things about the Hearts of Iron UI. Yes, Italy still exists. Germany does not, but at least I can rely on Italy. I think I'd rather be on my own, thank you very much. But that sounds just- Oh, Jesus. What are you doing with me, son? It's shedding season again. It just never stops. Half of this hair that he just shed is still on him. And I've been doing that like five times. Okay, so they're going early. No China. No no China policy. <laughs> Yo, if I had a mouse, we could just cheese so hard. Get it, yeah. it's a part. Let's develop MGs and small airframes before we even know what, a en what an engine is. Oh, well, it's not really required, you know, if we have those metal birds, we don't need to know how we can use them. That's some Org 40k logic. We just imagine that it works and then it works. I don't know if it's the portrait mod, but this guy, I don't want him near me at night. Hello everybody, it is me, the funny German, as you've always known me. And today I have some big news for you. They added a new button to this. UI. But this is not why I am here. I am here to show you 
the most pointless Focus 3 in this Hearts of Iron 4 game is of course the Focus 3 of Hungary and Hungary as you all know very strong country full of only good politicians and if you've played Hearts of Iron you also know Hungary Focus 3 very good very strong I genuinely don't know why I'm wh wh why I, I, seriously it's just why I don't want to do this. I don't want to play Hungary. Fine. We are going to do it. We are going to play. Oh. Do I have to do this? I mean, I, I can just tell you about the focus tree. I don't actually have to play the focus tree, you know? I can also just, you know, um, do these things and... Oh, right, I can't start the game yet. I have to first... Uh, do this. There we go. And uh, is there anything else I can do? Uh, I guess we can build. Oh God, do we have we. That's not a whole lot of building slots. And that's not. Oh. So um, how's the weather for you guys? Uh, it's starting to get a little bit hot again. It's uh, May, where we are. Um, it's summer. Uh, not really for us. Mostly rain in Germany. But I've heard there are heat waves in Spain. At this point, my recording software can just crash, or my whole PC. A fire alarm. Okay, no, let's let's just. Yeah. Uh, economic intervention. The good path of the hungry focus tree. I, I mean, it's not even worth it to go down. I, I guess we can get. Yeah. Sure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was 220k divisions. Manpower. 220k divisions. <laughs> that would have been. Ah, that would have been a war crime. Or five. So, uh, how's your day been going? Um, the weather, very um, May, uh, cold, rainy, Germany, uh, heat wave, Spain. Hearts of iron, am I right? What about airline food? <laughs> Start the path of Marxism, Leninism, which also means this here boy is going to get a little bit paranoid. learn. We are of course sticking with Stalin because Stalin is fun. Just look at him. This boy knows what fun is. So long as your definition of fun is to work in Gulag with no food of course. Wait, he has negative autonomy? I never knew. I only knew that he is the father of nations which he's been a very bad father of nations if I'm being honest. Huh. Not much different than mine now that I think about it. A, B, Z. Always go dispersed. Why are you repairing? Did some fisher boats attack you or... Let's boost some communism in Saudi Arabia. Because a communist oil baron really does sound like something that should exist. The red arrows, they are good because we are communists. We like the red. Just look at them. Always losing their hats. Those idiots. They should just strap them on and then they wouldn't lose them. How's Trotsky doing? Did he get my gift? Oh, maybe. Oh, he got my present. Nice. I don't even want to talk about it. Hitler is gone. Austria took three states. The Democratic Party Zentrum has been put in power in German Republic. We have 76% war support, 84% stability. France has 55% war support. The UK has 60% war support. The US has 45% war support in 1937. This is the face of a man who knows what he did and it's only gonna get worse. You might say, okay, Austria took three of our core states. That's pretty bad. It's not because we can join the allies now. You also saw that the Anschluss has been bypassed, which is such a shame. We can't get Austria as Germany anymore. We lose cores. Or do we? <laughs> yes! Another fun thing! We can improve our national spirit! We can add triumphant will! The only requirements are that we or our faction members control London and Paris, which, well, we do, but we're not really triumphant. The UK absolutely despises us, but they are still willing to have us in their faction. I just love it, man. It's perfect. I couldn't have wished for a better Christmas present. It's May. 
We don't really need to annex Hungary, but I might as well get them now because we will need aluminium soon. He is only a naval bomber. He's no longer a naval bomber airframe. And now for something completely different. No! <laughs> So bad. This is so bad. <laughs> German Italy, German France. We can almost form the German European Union. That's why I don't declare wars without having armies on my border. It just doesn't work. We will need to make a very weird defense here. We can probably make it and hold this. Get out of there. Oh my god. Yeah, I, lo I lost an entire stack in there. And it's probably gonna get more. Oh my god, no. Don't, just, please, just retreat. Well, if they die, then they were traitors to the socialist cause. I just lost three entire stacks in there. One million! Uh, yeah, they encircled three entire stacks. Castle again, you will be promoted. And Carl, I will fire you. We lost a million men, thanks to your blunder. Congratulations. You just got demoted. Court martialed even. Oh, fuck's sake. This looks fun. This looks fun, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. Skittles? Thrown up Skittles? An art project? I think that's an art project. It's the expression of the human soul, the modern human, and the conflicts within you. I'm gonna build roads everywhere, just the way God intended when he created America. Come on, just... just... Just big Stalingrad. Oh, we can join the unions. There we go. That's just 353 factories. The Soviets are gone. We got 20 factories. They did learn Howdy. American Careful accents very copper. quickly. Why did I do this? I seriously have no plan now. I do have enough oil, but it's fun. You know, it's fun to be independent and free. And I mean, that is what America is about. If you're American, at least freedom and independence and opportunities and paying your own health care. No, stop. I'm gonna be nice to Americans today. They are also deserve to be treated nicely once in a while. Since the country isn't doing it for them. More planes, planes. You can tap them to add white mana. Japan. Today we are going to be playing Japan in Hearts of Iron 4. And one fun thing I noticed, switching off all the DLCs and turning them back on did break my career profile. <laughs> Apparently I've only played 15 hour, 50 hours of Hearts of Iron 4, which... Uh, and I've only played 24 times. And I've not done any world conquests. And I've only played the Soviet Union twice, which is not even true. You've seen me play the Soviet Union more times on this channel than it... <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't really care about this. <laughs> I didn't really care about this stuff anyway. But still, it's... That, yeah, sure, I don't care. Oh, but I first need to collect my production is power. Ooh, can I... Do anything with that. Ooh, I can get the lion. Is it a worm behind the tank? I look stupid. Okay, uh, I don't give a shit about the carrot profile. For some reason, people keep embargoing me. I don't know why. I've done nothing bad this entire game. Uh, no Japanese person has ever done anything bad. Case in point, I don't know a single person, single Japanese person who's done anything bad, you know? And if I don't know anyone, then, well, they surely don't exist anymore. 12 aluminium. It baffles me how insane that is. Like 12! 12 aluminium! Just think about this. How much this is. I don't even know what I would do if I had 12 aluminium here. Like here, right here in my home. We do have a different title screen. So I guess that's a DLC. Another thing that's very obvious. Some of the Nazis are censored. At first I assumed this is just because I'm playing the German version. You know, we have strict laws against nationalism. The last time it happened, it didn't really leave a good taste in the mouth of everyone in Europe for some reason. But this is just a general thing. There's a free DLC that came out shortly after the game released and you'll get it if you buy the game outside of Germany. <laughs> You're trying to tell me this is the American focus tree without any DLC. 
How do you people live? How can people play the Canada is a different color. And they're Canada, not the Dominion of Ca They're independent? Wait, what? So, you're... The UK only has Malaya and the Raj's puppets. <laughs> Unit voice lines are a DLC. I just love Paradox, man. I don't think anybody can come up with the shit that they are pulling. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Wait. I guaranteed Austrian independence, but I'm in a faction with Germany, so I can't join against Austria. Oh, again, I mean, I can join against... Actually, I can join against Austria and take Austria myself. <laughs> That's even better. You're just learning new things with me every single day. <laughs> we are going to attack through Africa into ourselves. If there was one World War II army that would do this, it would be the Italian one. Why did you not declare war on Luxembourg? 82 force. Are you serious? Okay, that's absolutely trash. Nope. <laughs> I will definitely reload. My entire army is encircled. They just got all the 66, man. The problem is just it obscures my my army. <laughs> I can't see my army. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Behold, an old rag. With this dear rag, I will perform a magic trick. No, really. No. Yeah. I remove my cat. And also my second monitor. Just so I can't cheat anymore. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> this is so much worse when you're tapped in. Well, at least I know my the hours. I, c I don't even see half of my things. It's... <laughs> and I can also see myself. Hi, Vijo. Bunch of these. I don't know how much rubber I use, but I know how much I need. That sentence made no sense whatsoever. Oh God, that's so <laughs> Your turn to die. <laughs> if we were to use what is part of the UI, this would be the rest of the screen. However, since a huge chunk of these black bars is never used, I will veto them. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh. Now we have an American Empire with Libya, not Somalia, Eritrea? Yeah, Eritrea. And also a piece of Japan. And as you can see, I mean, like, it's almost as if we were playing base Hoi 4. We are playing as France, and I can already see the AI has done its great job of assigning generals, using every single one of them to their fullest potential. <laughs> Why did you... You have five divisions. What are you using two theaters for? They still haven't gone for steady as she goes or change a new course. <sighs> give me UK, give me UK, give me... That's almost the UK, I suppose. What am I supposed to do with Panama? Uh, uh yeah, um, so, uh... Well, it's, it's, it's gonna be a very fun game here. We will take the proper heritage. <laughs> yes, let me get the democratic reformer. Oh, and we have moved a whole lot. This is very fortunate. I didn't even have to move my camera. Can I do anything as Guatemala? At least they went interventionism. Does that mean I can send volunteers? You need seven divisions to be able to send volunteers? Ooh. She be de be de be de. Nothing happened. I'm just spectating Hoi 4 right now. That is how my career ends. I really thought it would last longer than this, but I suppose not. I suppose I am a Hoi 4 spectator now. We will prepare for civil war, expand civil support, and boom! Civil war! Right, we only have one state. <laughs> I forgot. We only have one. No. <laughs> Terra Nigga Lovagos Islands. <laughs> Let me just build a battleship because I will definitely arrive here again. I can't. I know. I know Panama Canal. You can't move through there in Hoi 4. You can do it in Victoria too. But why can I not drop troops in my capital of all places? 
In my capital! Also, um... I do enjoy my time in Panama, don't get me wrong. I can't think of anything else. Poland refuses German ultimatum, which means World War II is about to start. I said, World War II is about to start. I guess it's not gonna start because they're not gonna be able to push through Czechoslovakia. And the AI did get a little bit smarter, so I retract my statement. I was prepared. I was mentally prepared for playing... Wait a minute. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was mentally prepared for South America. I knew I was gonna play a few nations here, but I was not prepared to play nations more than twice, which I suppose Pose. Did not happen just now. Since we're not playing the Ecuador we started with, they somehow capitulated. Can I at least join the allies, please? Yes, let me do something. Let's just liberate Africa. You will not get my air secrets, Mr. Germany. Why did I move my camera? Why? Don't. That's Oman, right? I guess I'm not playing in South America. And I still have Liberty Ethos, pesky oil barons that are just hoarding all of the precious resources. This is not fair, I only have three oil. They have four whole oil. Oman has big plans with mobile warfare, motorization drive and a defense expert. Unaligned doesn't have anything, which I suppose makes sense. Since, you know, unaligned is... I... Would you look at that, the consequences of my own actions. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> we also have mobile warfare, defense expert and motorization drive. We are planning on using a navy, I suppose. Uh, please, I, I need to get the UK. I need to save this. The allies are just gonna fall otherwise. We do have oil, but I do have future vision, which means I know that this oil from Iraq and especially the oil from Iran is going to cause us a little bit of trouble in the future. Now I could puppet them, but that would mean I had the option to play Oman in 47 days, 46, 45. I am not going to take that risk. That is a very weird Molotov Ribbentrop. <laughs> the Soviets! <laughs> this was fun and all, but I think it's time for me to leave to sunnier pastures than the desert of Saudi Arabia. I was going to make a joke here, where's the camera, but I am recording. I suppose that this is a Truman Show right now. I suppose this is what I deserve. Please don't crash. You also could have just crashed at this point, seriously. Okay, Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can see that I did not ult a 4. I seriously crashed here. Seriously, if I get scanned in 10 years and my doctor says that I've had about 6 strokes already, I can just say, yep. Hey everybody, it's me. We don't need to get Finster, we have Finster at home here, coming at you with another experience. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Spain a Habsburg throne. That's just a world war. I'm just I just caused a world war in 1477. Why is England here? Did they intervene against the intervention of France? Seriously, this is World War One. The Ottomans declared on Balad, which called me in, and then I called my allies in, and then France joined against me, and then England joined against France. I would really like to help you there. Please leave a message after the beep. POV, you said you're a girl online. Molotov Ribbentrop. Although, I don't know if I still have Molotov. I don't think I do. I think I shot him. The Soviet volunteer group. I don't know why it still surprises me. I don't know why anything in Hearts of Iron in a Paradox game still surprises me. Yes, let me send my Soviet volunteer group. And I just shot the Tsar and got a homeless guy instead. Although they probably both were homeless, just that the first one looked better. I am absolutely fuming right now. 
Servus. Today we're gonna be playing a very normal game of Germany. Oh, not multiplayer. Germany. With the only difference being that yesterday in bed, why don't I do no research? I was like, okay, uh, if I can't research, wh what strategies could I use? I could get maintenance companies to make it easier for me since then I can capture equipment and uh, use the equipment. How am I gonna get these maintenance companies if I can't research them? It's just things like that where I seriously wonder what's wrong with my brain sometimes. I will just send two armies over here, which is not smart, but hey, neither am I. <laughs> Got him. I could make a joke here about getting a Wunderwaffe since, you know, I don't have research, but I feel like at this point this wouldn't be funny, would it? Yeah, an independence movement in free India. Sure. Why do you need an... Life split! Wait, what? In Free India? Free India doesn't exist. We only have the German Raj. Whoa, Mussolini! Nice one! You are actually being useful today in a game where I need it. But then the last time I didn't need it, it would have been so much cooler for content. <laughs> But hey, that's just me recording and forgetting to press record. Because fuck no, that's not important to actually press record when you're recording something. Just look at this front line. <laughs> this is so cursed. All of it. Italy landing in the Caucasus in Crimea and then just stretching around here. Italy landing in St. Petersburg and then this offensive. Erich Koch. <laughs> well, if that isn't a Ukrainian name, then I don't know what is. I am contesting Italy by giving a state to Italy. If that isn't proof that Paradox doesn't test its DLCs, then I don't know what is. Forfeit and let me guess, Stalin will survive. Yep. Would you look at that? The Soviet Union is still alive because I wanted to give Italy the stupid little state and Italy said, no, I want the state. So I forfeited it and the AI just stopped taking it. Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be forming the strongest Germany possible in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, wait a minute. What is this menu screen? I guess we're not playing Hearts of Iron 4 today. I've already formed the strongest Germany possible on this channel in Hearts of Iron 4. <coughs> you should <coughs> definitely check that out. <coughs> Sorry, this, um, you know, the plague's been going on for the past three years. If you've not already guessed it by now, we are going to be playing Prussia in Victoria 3. I'm never gonna touch that game, don't worry. Victoria 2? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I completely forgot what to do. I wasn't even... Hold up. Time out, time out. I guess that is still a thing. For the mega campaign, I had to adjust the base Victoria files. I'm not even using any mods right now. I mean... I am using mods. Saxony, I need Saxony for North Germany. N North, North Germany. Germany with Nerf guns. Neuchatel. Neuchatel, as a Swiss person would say. Oh! <laughs> yeah. This is perfect. I might be a bad general this game, but I sure am a lucky leader. Okay, kind of, if I'm not being detected immediately. How do you run out of wood? It literally grows on trees. Yes, I'm still pissed about that one time I spent 20 hours forming a decentralized HRE for the Mulhouse achievement in EU4, turned everyone into reformed and then we couldn't declare a religious war because only the Protestant League is allowed to do so and the only Catholic nation in the HRE was the Emperor Austria. And it makes no sense that there's no religious turmoil even though the only Catholic nation is the Emperor Austria and everyone else is reformed and only the Protestants are allowed to start this war, even though the only Protestants this game were in Ireland and since I was a republic I could not become the emperor and after we won the war some Irish guy became the emperor since they were the only valid Protestant target and then when I tried fixing this by erasing them from the map after switching to a monarchy and Protestantism, the HRE just stopped existing because there were no electors and not a single person gave a shit in this timeline that the HRE just randomly passed to an Irish guy who didn't give a shit about the HRE itself and likely just declined the event to also allow reformed Catholics to become emperor and when they were annexed everyone just went home and they I forgot the HRE ever existed. <sighs> you know, 
I really had to get this off my chest. No, I can't even choose my own party. What is this? This weird communism. I guess I'll have to beat up France instead. I do have something to do for influence power. Why did I forget about this? This is Africa. Why did I forget about it? That's what you do in Victoria. You scramble for it. It never works out to find the Nile. Honestly, I don't think they are searching for the Nile. That's just someone who is like, yeah, we're gonna find the Nile for you. Just give us a little bit of money and then we can run around, find it, you know? They just fuck off with my money, I know it. And yet, every single time I fall for it. Fool me once, I can get fooled again. I could ally the Belgians. And you know what? That's gonna be useful for some of my plans that I have later. Yeah, Russia, don't worry. You will soon have military access. Switzerland wants to be my friend again and they immediately declined. Okay, Switzerland. No, you've tried it twice already. I fooled me once. Shame. Wait, no, I already made a joke and post. And the navy is also very simple for once. Just select it, get all the light cruisers, select it, get all the submarines. Ow! I fucked up already. We can... <laughs> we can lose to count by Stalin before we're done with the purge! <laughs> yes! I love it. I'm just breaking the game. <laughs> you can also move, you know? You are allowed to do this. I'm not modern day Russia where I will shoot you if you just do something that I didn't order you to. It's just war score that I get. This is big brain, you know? The more war score I get, the more I can take from France once Germany caps them. This is Russian D chess. A new One Piece character. <laughs> Russian D chess. Yep. No, Turkey, I can't spare anything right now, I'm sorry. I will be at war with an ideological threat in just a minute. China. Communist threat receding. <laughs> I don't think so, brother. I'd be worried if it was. Italian volunteers for a juicy meaty Italian pocket. A little bit of pizza with rice. Yes, 4%. They are gone. Oh, right, because my allies are in this war. <gasps> I meant to click pause. I meant to click pause. <laughs> oh shit. This would be such a baller move. You kill millions of the people, you completely decimate a country and then in the peace deal, you just walk out. Pass is down here. Has it always been down here? We can ask for Leningrad back. Oh well, for uh, Sakhalin. What? Karelia, Sekelin is over here. I recently got a call from some of my Argentinian friends wondering if I could play the Enzig mod. I don't know why they requested I try to save Germany in 1944, but I guess they have their reasons. <laughs> See, we have generated 100% world tension already. It's 1936, just because we marched on London. Bit of a shame here. I should have taken these suicide pills. No, I. I should have developed. So this is gonna be a little bit hectic now, because I do need. Jesus, the bulldozer voice actor. <laughs> By subtracting where it is from where it isn't or where it isn't from where it is, whichever is greater, it obtains a difference or deviation. The guidance subsystem uses deviation to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where it isn't and arriving at a position that it wasn't, it now is. Consequently, the position where it is is now the position that it wasn't and it follows the position that it wasn't is now is the... Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this is so fucking stupid! What the fuck was this?
this? What the fuck? <coughs> I did not expect a Ricardo! <laughs> this is Ricardo Kel. Yo, this Manticore has been tanking so much. If you told me it was uh, undestructible? In ir indestructible? Indestructible. I would believe you. But I know that the others have died, so... I know it's not entirely indestructible. Ir not destructible. Just look at this! It doesn't crash! go for a nice final 1v1 on one of my favorite maps, Alpine Assault. Artillery. Yeah. It would be funny to end the video. Time. Nothing in the world is going wrong. Everything is dandy. The beautiful 20th century. We went out of a world war, but now everything is perfect. Nothing... There's nothing to worry about because it is a beautiful... No oh, shit. China is declaring war on China and China. But they still have war goals on China and China. But China also has war goals on China. Now they don't have war goals on China anymore. Oh my god, what just happened? Ah, okay, they just... <laughs> this is cursed! This is cursed! They're going for the fascist tree against democratic Germany. <laughs> If you're offering yourself, then I... <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> I can't... I can't... God, this looks so stupid! Those borders. Having the Sudetenland, but not Austria? It looks wrong. If I at least had Bohemia and Moravia, I could be like, okay. Oh no, wait. They will get... <laughs> <laughs> They'll get Czechoslovakia, <laughs> but I have part of Czechoslovakia. This is gonna be a repeat of the mega campaign. Just everyone around us will want to kill us, and we just want to make friends. Yeah, that's that's what I say. Sort of makes sense. <laughs> ich, ich liebe es. Oh, ich liebe Kapitalismus. <laughs> I just took ch <laughs> I just stole it. And I, there's nothing they can do about it. The Soviet government. I don't know why I should care about the Soviet government. Can you see the Soviet government? Comment now if you can see the Soviet government. We're snaking through. This looks like EU4. <laughs> I started in Germany and then I just sneaked my way into China. I have a PU on Scandinavia. Unitary Canada has assumed faction leadership of the Hispanic Alliance. Yes. Always remember kids. I can't even take a shit. I can't even take a shit because I'm not rich enough. God, this is capitalism 101. <laughs> All good, brother. I'm just walking around. I'm sorry that I'm bald. <laughs> Seriously, I'm I'm considering this right now. If you don't stop this. Bloody hell. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, a break. Let's fucking go. I always wanted one of these. Please don't break. Oh fucking fuck. Oh fucking fuck. Oh fuck 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 fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. Please work.
Good day, sir! Another one. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry! Yo, what the fuck? I think you were overreacting a little bit here, my friend. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Since when do they need to yeah, frisk me? Excuse me? That does remind me of the time where I was at the airport and I went through the security. They patted me down and I had uh, water in my bag and airplanes, they don't really want that. Security has it and all that. I had to go back and chuck it away. And then I went back in and one of the security guards that saw me did find that a little bit sus because he patted me down and he took his time. My balls hurt after that. He didn't punch me or anything, but he made sure that nothing illegal was there. Could get another crowbar, or... Or I could do this. Silent and deadly like the night. God, this was quick. It was very sloppy, but quick. That's how I like it. <laughs> Work you did back there. I wouldn't really call it impressive, but thank you regardless. I'm a mess assassin. Stealth is my mission. How many guards are in here? We are silent and subtle and everything in between. Oh my god, that was worth it. Oh shit. No! Oh my god! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! No! I'm starting to wonder. Like the front against the Polish, you can just auto, but. I want a micro. <laughs> I want mono. But. I'm having a stroke. I want a micro a little bit, so we can get the. <laughs> So we can get the... Um, so we don't waste too much manpower and resources. Oh my god, that was so hard. We can also start working on the agency, which I should have done so much earlier. <laughs> I'm getting rubble problems. The division is not getting supplies. I was challenged to kill every single NPC on a Hitman map. The big question that comes up then is, which map do I choose? Logically, I should pick Colorado for this challenge because it's the most infamous level in Hitman. In Colorado, every single NPC has a gun, but shut up. I have to milk the content, man. Suckle on the sweet tea. So I sat down and fought for a bit, and the only choice that I could feel good with is Berlin. Since I'm a German, that is a location that I can get to quickly. It's also a shithole that smells like piss wherever you go, and I also don't want to be cancelled. If I went to France to murder everyone in Paris, I would make my grandfather proud, but once again, I would be cancelled. And as we've seen in history, the other nations are pretty good at cancelling Germany. One thing I have not told you yet is the fact that Berlin is a map where you have to kill five undercover agents. There are ten in total, so anyone could be an agent, and the only way to be sure is to kill everyone in this club. Just ignore the fact that they are all red. Welcome to hell. This will be a night to remember. Honestly, <laughs> Berlin might not be a good choice. We will of course also play on master difficulty, which I usually do not like, because you only get one save per game. This game is Hitman. It requires discreet planning, quick thinking and replanning once things go awry. So naturally, my first run went like this. Okay, um, maybe next run, maybe next run, maybe next run. <laughs> I think these guys are on drug. I know it's a techno club, but like, come the fuck on. You should have just left. Oh my god! <laughs> All of the NPCs screwed. Why did I. Why did I enjoy the moment? <sighs> I don't think I'm sharp right now. Yo, this suit good new for personal. You sh <laughs> I really just locked the door. <laughs> you shouldn't have gone in here. Which one said that? I think it was you. You care, huh? You care? You care? Looks like you did not. 
I guess you won. Oh. I know I'm a strategy... Okay, I'm not a strategy player after this. I was about to say, I know I am a strategy player and not a shooter player. A possible threat, yeah... I guess that's one way to put it. Yo, brother, that's dedication to your craft, but... I have a mission, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're not even dancing! They're just standing there. God, it's terrifying! You wanna call me a psychopath for killing everyone, but come on! These are the true psychopaths! And I even did the climax! Oh my god, all of the civilians really just went to lockdown here. Oh my god, I have to use I have to use a knife, I'm sorry. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! <laughs> Don't you do it! You taking a piss? Huh. Kind of. No smoking indoors. Wait a minute! <laughs> I don't think I really care about a guard. <laughs> That's gonna hurt! Yeah, I'm sorry, brother. In the middle! Brother, you are vibing. You know what? This goes against the challenge, but if this guy still has something to celebrate, then I don't think I can help him. I don't think the salvation of death can help him. You still intend to work, huh? I'm a socialist. I'm just helping the workers out here, you know? The less workers we have, the more you can demand, the better your life will be. And if all goes well, we will have a silent assassin rating. If everyone is dead, then there's nobody who can report your appearance. Sure, the five agents that fled and the security footage. Hey girls, we are going to be picking everyone's favorite war crime denier, Turkey. For as much as I would like to be playing Turkey. No, never again played enough turkey in my life. As you can already see, the mod, the mod, the converter, the, the convert, the EU, uh, VIC-2 to HOI-4, HOI-4, that's the game you're playing. The VIC-2 to HOI-4 converter is insane. I mean, just look at those portraits. <laughs> Trong Tuan is, oh, oh, same for Andalusia and Angola. I've integrated most of the administrative regions, but I mean, just look at him. You just know he's gonna look at the cookie jar and don't mind if I do. And I don't fault him for that. <laughs> okay, I might just play Muska. <laughs> what the f What is this? And then the mayor. That, you don't look like someone. No, okay, fine. And then the Shio, Mexicans, Blackfoot, Iroquois, Cherokees are all very nice. Very nice, very nice. I can smell something. The Atlantic Ocean. And with it, potentially... Yes! France is gone, which means Andalusia is back. Which means we can kill Swabia. Which means... <sighs> Frontline! I... 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 I'm gonna be able to sleep so soundly today. But we also lost a lot of land in the Austrian re 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 liberation. For future kids in school, this will be one of the most confusing battles that they have to memorize. How often Prague was... Oh, Austria is gone. How often Prague was occupied and liberated again and occupied and liberated and I'm gonna get RSI. While this thing finishes off, I think I will play a little bit of Disco Elysium. Great game on the Steam Deck, by the way. I mean, it's a great game, but the Steam Deck is also nice. It's a very depressing and uh, weird game, but hey, it's so nice. And I love the voice acting in it. Whoops! 
I just booted myself out of Steam. Yeah, I mean, Steam only allows you to be logged into the into an account at one time, which is why it booted me out of here. Can you hear that? That's the sound of my neighbor knocking because I started up Victoria 2 and it's bursting out my eardrums. Why is the game always so loud? I don't like those troops here. I don't like those troops here at all. Twangster. That is one way to say Kaliningrad or Kravulic. Okay, the I got the Deutschland lead, but <laughs> that's... <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> I know I'm Prussia, but like, the only German land I own is Königsberg. And even then, that's just Prothenian. I, I am <laughs> not German. <laughs> and I'm also not Prussian. Seriously, I'm just Russian. I think they took some decision. <laughs> 960 infamy. The bells, the drums of war. They are ringing once again, this time in another timeline, time frame, time slot, age, in another age. Devout Catholicism? <laughs> yes! A Sony nation with devout Catholicism. That's why I did not want them to switch to Hispania. I wanted them to stay as Tomboy, Granada, whatever the fuck Andalusia. I don't know. Oh my god. My current ruler has lived so long that... Fuck off. God, this guy is terrible! <laughs> so many negative modifiers. Some. I think he's perfect. He is legitimately perfect. I could not make him any better. Potentially a different beard. <laughs> okay. He is perfect. <laughs> We're losing piety! Because he is so horrendous stuff. I need a wife. I need a wife this very... Right. I do have a few negative modifiers. I'm... Not sure what I'm supposed to say here. <laughs> I have written something down again, but... It doesn't really feel right to say that, you know, to just read it off. I, I think one thing I can mention is that I am very grateful for all of you guys. Every view, every like, every sub, every comment, and funnily enough, even every share. Like, that is something that's very strange. Just seeing that your content has been shared on Reddit and Discord. <laughs> and I mean, some of these comments out there, like, seriously. Reading, uh, you're my favorite Hearts of Iron content creator. It's just... It's strange. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is something incredibly nice to say, seriously. YouTube is fun, but it's also a taxing, draining... An exhausting process, you know. I love this thing. I want to keep on doing this. I will keep on doing this. But it's... Also, especially the past few months have been very... Not just from YouTube, but in general, just... Very mentally taxing. I'm not gonna go into deep because it's stuff that... If I do say it, I will probably regret it in a month. So I'm gonna keep it short here. I will just say that I will take a small break from content creation. I will return. I do have so many things I want to do. Not just Hearts of Iron, but in general. I want to do a Nuzlocke at some point. I want to play other games. I want to teach other games. Among the things that has happened, is 
I have lost my job, which technically isn't that big of a deal because I'm a software engineer. There are enough jobs out there that I don't have to worry about this at all, technically. But it's still just a mental thing and I have to pep talk myself a lot. Like, I genuinely have a mantra right now. Every day, I just have to keep on telling myself that things are looking up. I had like almost 20 interviews in the past two weeks and now it's Christmas so everybody is on holidays. So for the next two weeks nothing will change there. Uh, actually the next three weeks, the next three weeks nothing will change. And it sucks because right now I don't have any obligations at all. I, I could be making content every other day, I could be streaming. But I just don't have the energy for it. But I will be streaming. I want to stream. I want to make videos. I will be making videos. Now the, the exact process I will not be able to tell you. Because I don't know. Right now, if worst comes to worst, I will have to take a full time job again. And I could hire an editor. I still am not 100% sold on it. I would only hire an editor for the rough cuts, you know, like no special things, just the basic storyline to cut down the 5 plus hours into a 15 minute segment and then I'll go over it and I'll do edit funny bits, I'll edit the music, I'll edit um, my skits. It would make things a little bit complicated, especially because paying someone when my content is getting like 70 views. I don't want to seem ungrateful. Again, I am incredibly happy. Like, there is a decent chunk of you that will just watch my stuff. And it's, that is very empowering, you know? Again, I don't want to seem whiny here. I know that everyone else is also pouring as much effort in. Some people more, some people less. So long as you're not plagiarizing content, I 100% grant you the uh, success that you have here on this platform. You know, like there is a certain amount of luck on the platform. I will say, if I did better thumbnails, if I did better video ideas, better titles, I would probably have much more success than I do right now. The actual content itself is some of the best gaming and especially Hearts of Iron content on this platform. Which is also why I want to keep on doing this. It's super fun! I would like to do this at some point professionally or at least as a side gig. For times, you know, when you lose your job and you completely just break down and everything is scary and then you can be like okay i have youtube at least and i could tap into that a little bit more if i wanted to kind of a weird rant here in conclusion i will be taking a break at least for me personally for a month maybe two probably just a week before i'm like okay i want to do content again i do hope you guys will stick around until then i just want to detox a little there and then I also can't guarantee that my job will allow me to have as much free time as I might want. Two videos every three weeks, something like that. I will keep on doing this because it's, it is super fun. And I'm very grateful. I do want to make more hype things, more than just playing. Hearts of Iron on my own. One thing that drives me to make this content is to give someone a little bit of respite. I won't be able to, you know, help every single one of you. If my stupid little videos can just help you get through the day, then I mean, this has all been worth it. Genuinely. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a proper answer for what's gonna come in 2024. I don't even know myself. Once I'm done with the interview process, I will probably take a 24 hour, maybe 48 hour stream. I would like to speedrun Ring Fit Adventure 100%, which is like 
40 hours, uh, 30 hours. I'm looking forward to these two things. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys will stick around. Again, I'm very grateful. I didn't even do a stupid 